Not a place you'd normally expect to get lit up, but here in the heart of a Buckinghamshire wood, just close by Pinewood Studios, producer Harry Robertson and director Terry Marcel have recreated a sort of Dark Ages camp belonging to Volton for their new heroic fantasy, Hawk the Slayer. Hawk is played by an American newcomer, built not unsimilarly to uh, Errol Flynn. His name is John Terry. And the evil Volton, whose camp this is, is played by one of the screen's uh, greatest baddies, Jack Palance. He's out to get his brother and his father and anybody else who stands. I guess he's agitated. I think he's wearing the wrong kind of underwear, something like that. <laughs> and black is, uh, you're back in black again. Yes. I, it just blends well. You know. Has Volton any saving graces or is he evil through and through? I don't think anybody is evil through and through. Anybody who's evil through and through has a saving grace, and that is that he's evil through and through. Um, at least he's true to himself. OK, let's go. Turn over. Three, three, one, take one. There is no sign of the abbess. Morgan, you're not really maimed, I trust. No, eh? no, I take it off. I mean. What What's supposed to have happened to the hand? Um, I uh, I lose it right at the beginning. I haven't got my watch on, which is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I lose it. I lose it right at the beginning of the picture, and I lose the hand, and then the nuns and the abbess um, cut the hand off, save it, and then they put it into this, and I go through the rest of the picture with that. And you lads are warriors, basically, are you? Yeah. Well, uh, he's an elf. Yes. He, he's oh, magic. I I'm not. I see. Uh, I'm human, and common, and vulgar. Oh, and, oh no, no, no! <laughs> and the rest of them—they're all sort of got—they're all touched with magic. The rest of them have got magic, but I suppose I'm the common man, really. And I don't have magic like they do. I can tell you magic, Rick, because you've got bells in your hair. Can you turn so we can see those? Because yes, they look—they look terrific. And you've also got those strange ear rolls that uh, Spock has, haven't you? Yes. Uh, we didn't have Spock in mind, but yeah. And you're Hawks lads. That's right. Hawks We're his are. army. Peter O'Farrell and Bernard Breslau, a fine couple, if I may say. So what, what are these two characters you portray in this picture? Uh, well, what do we play in this picture? Well, I look after him, really. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm Gort. Um, Certainly. And he's Baldin. Gort is the dwarf and Baldin is the giant. No, Baldin is the giant. Wrong. I'm the dwarf, you're yeah. the giant. <laughs> no, they haven't told him that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> Baldin is the dwarf. Really? I thought I was playing the dwarf. No, I'm playing the dwarf. Oh, this you're year. playing the dwarf. I'm playing the giant oh, next year. I'm, I thought I'm playing the giant. I wish you'd told me that. I'd have stood up properly. <laughs> How do you describe the style, the stance, the movement? The movement, it, it, it looks like Tai Chi. I mean, they say. That what is Tai Chi? It's a, it's a sort a, of a, Chinese a, exercise. It's a Chinese art form where everything begins to flow. It's, it's a much more fluid method, and everything begins to change from the, from the waist down. And therefore, then the body follows it. It's almost, it's almost a dance, really. Bang. Of course, the garb and the, and, the, and the utensils that were used to kill one another are uh, medieval. But uh, we're trying to do it in a, in, a, in a way that will lend some fantasy to it. But it's, it's a, this is Cowboys and Indians. You have the, the, guy, the good guy and the bad guy, and it's just set in, in a fantasy uh, land rather than in the West or some other place. I'm blind, not with blind eyes, but this is my blind thing. But I see into the future. 
to the third eyes the thing that sees all. I could do with you at Newmarket on Thursday. Yes. <laughs> What's the name of this character you play? Woman. Simply that? Yes. It started out as old woman, but then they employed me, and they so I became <laughs> came woman. But I'm getting older as the days go by. And you're obviously uh, a magician. What, what is your relationship to Hawk? I'm his white wizard. And without me, he couldn't do much. <laughs> what are you able to do for him? Well, I see into the future for him. I can't change it, though. And I help him gather his men together. Action! There is no sign of the others. I'm ready. Russia. Terry, the witch, played by Pat Quinn, seemed to get through about three dozen eggs before you got the egg gag right. What's happening there? Well, uh, as you see around us, this is Voltan's camp, and there are supposed to be about 100 uh, men in the camp. And our five warriors have to find a way of getting in there without uh, getting slaughtered. So she, by the use of these eggs, which are light reflecting, uh, conjures up uh, a storm of smoke. And what you've just seen is uh, the two eggs glowing uh, in several different colours, and as she crushes them, smoke begins to pour from the eggs into the camp. And uh, what you'll see on screen is, in fact, billowing smoke fill this whole area, and the warriors charge in, kill everybody, or most of them, and get out quick. And that's what we're doing now. I am ready. <laughs> the position, do our whole segments here, the jump, the fly, because all this is going to be done in really dense smoke, right? How's the smoke? Yeah, let it cover. Yes. Yeah, the, 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 the trampoline. The, 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 the roof feature a lot that time. 